What's up, guys? Just reading the chat right now. No, this is not an impromptu hot seat. <laughs> uh, undoubtedly, uh, Meathead has some gastrointestinal issues. <laughs> I'm not, oh, you, oh, can't sit by a uh, campfire with an adult beverage. What's up? All right, guys. So um, I am going live tonight just to, uh, someone at, uh, at work, a buddy of mine, uh, got, gave me this, um, this box, all right, this box that has, um, uh, booze in it and it's like a subscription service. Okay. So like, you know, you can order, you know, food that come up. There he is. Dave powers. Dave powers is the man. He is the one that gave me this box. All right. So this box is a subscription service and it's not cigars. It's booze. Is that right? I'm sorry. I know it's backwards, but it says Rob Vices. Okay. So um, what it is is a subscription service for booze. And, and Dave, correct me if I'm wrong on how, how it goes. But um, uh, every month he sent a bottle of something that comes with uh, whiskey. Uh, this is gin. And uh, it comes with uh, uh, mixers and such. And uh, uh, fuck, uh, uh, menu, or not menu, recipe book. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'm having a hard time uh, spit it out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, uh, it's funny. So we're going to go through this box. So uh, Powers hooked that up, man. I appreciate it. Hey, uh, Jeff or John. Sorry, John. What's going on? Nigel, sorry to recognize. I didn't say, shout you guys out. Hussy, how you guys doing? Uh, Hussy, the party wings are gone. Uh, I ate them already. Uh, Chef, what's up? Can't everybody? Scotty, if you're in there, I haven't seen you yet. Um, yeah, exactly, Nigel. This thing's pretty freaking. This thing's pretty awesome. Don't drink the whole box. Got it. Got it, Matt. All right. And Matt, you still need to send me that uh, script, dude. All right. So I'm going to open this thing up. And show you how it, how it comes packaged. So I'm gonna try to do this without knocking everything over. What up, Smoking Joe's? All right. So this is the thing it comes with here. This is the recipe guide and the whole story behind the booze that's in there and the stuff that comes with it. All right. So uh, I don't want to like keep just show you guys everything, but this is all the recipe. So we're gonna go through one of these. Uh, we're gonna make one of these recipes right here. Okay. So figure why not. Yeah, it's not a good idea to get drunk when you're on the hot seat. Uh, grill top experience. I'm sorry, I don't know your name, brother. Throw it in the throw it in the chat. And it also comes with salami. I guess you know when you drink, you want to eat. All right. So let's uh, uh, let's go through this real quick. So I'm going to show you what comes in it, and then uh, I'll show you how uh, we'll go through this recipe guide together, and. Uh, Right on, John. I really appreciate you too, man. Gin is for women or guys who make girly drinks. Well, you've come to the right spot, Kent. All right. So, um, anyway, so we're going to make this thing. We're going to make one of the, the cocktails that says in the thing. And, uh, and the recipe guy, man, I haven't been drinking, I swear. All right. So, let's go through and see what comes with it. All right. So, the first thing as it's stuck in there, Kent likes fuzzy navels. You know what's funny? Uh, Hussy, I think I was drinking a fuzzy navel last night, and I didn't know. All right, so here's the gin. It's Alchemist gin distilled by the moonlight. Oh, sorry, distilled by the light of a full moon. So that's that's fun. I, 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 I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> The product of Spain, imported in Houston, Texas. So all you Texas guys, that'd be cool. Uh, let's see here. Forty percent alcohol by volume, eighty proof, seven fifty milliliters. All right. So uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, Hussy, this is this does sound like a. Uh, <laughs> it does sound like a romantic drink, distilled by the light of a full moon. 
Someone's gonna start. Yeah, I know, right? It kind of looks like yeah. This is the oddest looking bottle. Towards the bottle cap. All right, so we got that. All right, so recipe guide. I need to get this big old box off, off my lap here. So, all right, so me had something about the fruit. We have dried juniper berries. All right, looks good. Kirby was shaking, brother. That's some belly rubbing. <laughs> all right, we got some dried rose petals. So romantic, the sprucks of that around. Eating steaks right now, so good, not burnt. <laughs> All right, and then this looks like star anise. Yep, star anise. A little thank you, thank you, jobbers. <laughs> there you go. That 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 technical terms. All right, and we have two kinds of tonic. All right, so we got Indian tonic, which let's find out what Indian tonic is. Custom built to mix with London dry gins. A bit better. A bit. A bit bitter. A tad sweet and highly carbonated. All right. So, Indian tonic water. Josh, you were late. All right. We have a box that came with booze. It's like a subscription service. Like, you, you get with your, like, food ordering and all that stuff. Uh, a gentleman in my office, Dave Powers, he's in the chat, gave this to me because he's not a fan of gin. And he knows I like gin. So we're going to try and make uh, <laughs> we're going to try and make a cocktail. All right. So I'm not going to do any cooking live tonight, but I wanted to do a little drinky poo. So, all right. So we have spectacular tonic. All right. Clean, clean, crisp, and highly carbonated. The perfect spirit. Oh, sorry. The perfect match for great spirits. Not only can I not talk tonight, I cannot. I cannot read. All right, so that's everything that comes in the box. So if anybody wants to know what's in the box, it's Gwyneth Paltrow's head. Can you use the dried juniper berries as seasoning? Yeah, probably. Um, I'm thinking I'll, I'll be using that star anise, you know, for something. Um, Josh has a lot of hate in the chat tonight because we watched him burn his steaks. So there's that. <laughs> I saw the pictures. They look good, Josh. Don't worry. All right. I'm not going to read this whole thing about Spain and the people that make alchemist gin. But there is something right here. Imagine if you woke up every morning believing you could eventually find the formula to turn lead into gold. All right, everybody. Write this stuff down. Imagine if you went to sleep every other night. After a long day on the hunt for liquid that would grant you immortality, life would certainly never be boring. Passion would be tough to extinguish with such lofty and fantastic goals. Uh, dude, it's in the book. Man. How, you know, everybody out here knows me, knows I can't make that shit up. Mm, all right. The original alchemists were men who set out as early as the seventh century to Egypt to find and unlock the mysteries of metals, plants, the moon, and immortal life. They believed in a universal spirit that connected everything and the shrouded secret practices and its practice practitioners spread across Europe and Asia, even as far as Brazil. Uh, is anybody into this book? This is, this is some serious stuff right here. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't read, I can't keep reading this one. It's not story time with Uncle CJ right now. Dear Amex, blame it on the moon. Okay. So, goes, talks about the tonics. Keep going, keep going. Oh, here we go, tonic cocktails. Are we ready? All right, we got 24 in the chat. Make sure you guys are smacking, smashing that light. That thumbs up. I'm sure Hobo's in there already clicking it down. All right, let's see here. The classic gin and tonic. Hey, Bebs, do we have lime still in there on the counter? Can you cut me up some whatever? <laughs> Are you sure this is one? Okay, so Nigel, serious 
question. Are you sure this is one legal and two bubble? <laughs> oh, that's funny, dude. All right. So we got classic gin and tonic, which, you know, that's not what we're looking for right now. The Alchemy Garden. That doesn't look good at all. It's gin, dry French vermouth, three white grapes, a dash of orange bitters, eight to ten mint leaves, one lemon wedge, and the tonic. I don't think so. The sherry and tonic. Sherry, simple syrup, orange bitters, tonic, lemon pill, orange slice. No. What the hell? Guys, I think we're going straight with uh, – we could go straight with a gin and tonic tonight, man. Okay. So there's actually there's a recipe here for some potatoes. Dutch yellow potatoes, shishito pepper, stuffed flank steak. Thank you, sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, stuffed flank shit. Stuffed flank steak with gin cream sauce. <laughs> Our steaks turned out perfect. Let's focus on what CJ is doing. Thank you, babe. That's awesome. <laughs> Feel the power of the tonic. All right, powers. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I want to try this recipe for the stuffed flank steak. Coming soon to cooking with CJ. Just go back to crown, CJ. Oh, man. We got to try some gin, man. Usually I don't drink gin after a sunset, but we're gonna we're gonna give this a try. But I think I really want to try this uh, the uh, that stuff funk steak, and then we'll, maybe we'll cut into the salami later. CJ, when does the hot seat start? Uh, next Thursday at six p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, so this was worthless. All right. Uh, Let's see here. I got a high ball glass. You know what? Who thinks we should put some uh, dried, dried juniper berries in it? Put a one in there if you think we should put some dried juniper berries. Let's smell them. Mm, I don't know. I smell like anything. Gin is no bueno. All right. What up, Mike Montoya? How you doing, brother? I don't know why I felt like I just needed to, like, uh, Come make that cocktail in Santa Clarita right on. Yeah, exactly like that. Eight. <laughs> nice. It's like wearing a gin after sunset is like wearing white after Labor Day. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's get serious here. Let's put some ice in this thing. I'm I'm damn I'm damn thirsty. All right. Nineteen viewers. Show us your salami. Jim EQ. Beg your pardon. <laughs> There's a cost for that. I don't have super chat. Damn it. We had super chat. I'd show you my salami. Okay, this is La La Cuseria. La Cuseria. Well balanced heat, light smokiness, make the salami an excellent accompaniment to any challenge. From a late meeting to a fancy cheese plate. It's a cocktail weenie, pretty much. <laughs> All right, let's open this thing up before we make a cocktail. Ooh. It's so long you have to fold it in half. All right, everybody in the comments, run with that one. <laughs> uh, a little more ice. All right. What? I'm going to put uh, I'm gonna put a couple dried juniper berries in there. And hopefully that'll like inhale one. All right. Slommy small hot dog. <laughs> uh, at least Nigel laughs at my jokes. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to go with, I need to try ghost pepper cheese. I, I don't think so. Uh, Dutch, you're, you're more than likely to be hired back. Okay. I think we're going to go with spectacular tonic water as opposed to Indian tonic water. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. I, I don't know the difference. Really well. Excuse me real quick. I need to get a shot glass. Hold tight. Hold tight. Don't go nowhere. Shit. 
All right, and I'm back. All right, guys. Hey, uh, James, before I start pouring here, you were awesome on the hot seat, dude. We had a great time. I really, really had a great time. I enjoyed it. it was just, we were laughing the whole time. We were taking shots the whole time. It was a, just, just an awesome time, man. So great job, James. Very impressive. And Kent, you were adequate last night. I appreciate it. Uh, and Ken, I don't think I got my props yet for uh, pronouncing your last name correctly. I'm just saying. All right. So, yes, he was. <laughs> He's drinking 128 proof of bourbon. I don't think Hope was in the chat. If Hope was in there, give a shout out. What's up? But I don't see him in there. All right. So we got a, we got a highball with glass. Can't with that. <laughs> Uh, we have my very own special shot glass. It says uh, Justin's Bar, which, you know, a lot of you don't know or do know that I actually go by Justin outside of the YouTube world. All right. So let's pour. What's that a ASMR shit going on right now? A shot and a half. What do you guys think? Oh, it looks about right. All right. All right. All right. Hi, Sim Cooking. Sim, 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 Sim. Is that right? Did I say it right? All right. So not only do we have tonic water, we have spectacular tonic water. It says so. All right. So got our little juniper berries in there. We're just going to pour the rest of the tonic water. A little bit more. All right. Got a couple of uh, limes we're going to squeeze up in this B. <laughs> Can't be good enough for uh, <laughs> government work. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Justin Timberlake. Yep. Oh, my gosh. All right. And then we have the stirring stick. Where's Hobo at? He's going, ah! <laughs> All right. Stir this bad boy up. Get them juniper berries kind of working in there. They're floating. The berries are floating on top. All right. All. We'll leave that in there. All right. Let's smell it. it smells like lime. Pretty much that's it. Usually you smell a little cucumber in there. But so usually when I drink gin, I drink ah, this stuff. Hendrix gin. It's my favorite. This is the, this is the good stuff. This is okay stuff yet. I don't know yet. Babe wants to know where Mr. CJ is at. Uh, oh, Mr. CJ, would you like to come say hi? Your fans are calling for you. Just stay low, babe. Uh, she's not wearing a bra, so can't close your eyes. <laughs> I never have a bra. I know. Get low. There she is. Hi. <laughs> and that's all you get. <laughs> all right. Dave Powers got some uh, rum. Nice one. All right. All right. Let's try this. All right. Chin down. Not bad. It's, re it's really fresh and refreshing. <laughs> Kid said boob shot. Yes. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, Babe says she never wears bras or makeup <laughs> either. <sighs> Why would they sign Kaepernick? That makes absolutely no sense. They got Derek Carr. All right, guys. <laughs> uh, it's Malise. You're going to get in trouble. You're not going to get no more shots. Uh, Kent. Oh, USC is losing. That's why I didn't mind going live tonight. I can't. I can't watch them. I can't watch them keep losing. It's very sad. I'm gonna go back to the fall in Iowa. Like Kent. 
All right. That's good. So what else you guys got going on right now? Hey, Big Kano. What's going on, brother? Welcome. We are trying Alchemist Gin. It's not very sweet. I was thinking the juniper berries might kind of tone it down a little bit, but it's just a, a dry kind of gin. Babe says, CJ family, come to Santa Clarita tomorrow. Let's cook ribs on the Weber kettle. Bring the kids to your hotel. Uh, Bethany, she said she'd text you. We got we got a lot of stuff going on this weekend. She'll tell you about all about it. Uh, <laughs> I know you will, Kent. My teething son just passed out. Now it's just me, my bourbon, and my black son. <laughs> oh, I remember those days of the teething and stuff when, you know, the, all the kids were young. Now they're all, all their teeth are falling out. All right, Powers. Take care, brother. Uh, thank you for the, the gin. I, I'm, I'm going to enjoy it. Get a couple of these in me to wash down the pain of USC. Hawkeyes are three and zero. Yeah, my uh, my Trojans are gonna be one and three by the end of the night. Robert Roy Marion is walking right now. Good man, good man. Right on. So, what do you guys think? Would you do a subscription service for booze like this? I, I don't exactly know the cost. I, I want to say empowers you, Craig. It's probably around fifty bucks a month, but you get you know a fifty dollar bottle of booze and you get all the accoutrement with it, which I don't know what to do with this stuff. The Star and East, you do that for seasoning our food for whatever. Am I going to watch McGregor and Kebab? Uh, Khabib? Uh, only if someone else is uh, – that's, that's kind of mean, Kent. Uh, only if someone pays for it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't uh, – yeah, I don't uh, pay for UFC fights or, you know, even back in the day of boxing unless someone was paying for it. If I live alone, maybe not now. I think I miss that. Kent, I'm from Cali. <laughs> uh, I don't think Kent cares, Kirby. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> hey, Jay Wade. Cheers, brother. We are trying a gin. This is Alchemist Gin. Came with from a subscription service that uh, my buddy Dave gave me the bottle and or the, the whole box that came with it. So start at the beginning, you kind of see what we're doing. But this is gin distilled by the light of a full moon. So that's exciting. I I told you, Josh, I know you're having the fight, but we're not gonna be in town. <laughs> But you're not ugly, Kirby. That's true. I don't know. Kirby. Eh, that's cute. You've had it. Jay Wade, I've never heard of this before. I had to look it up. And then I thought I was spelling it wrong because it has the K, two Ks next to each other. It took me a minute to figure it out. But it's pretty tasty. I was are you a big uh, gin drinker, uh, Jay? Uh, I got it. I usually drink Hendrix Hendrix and Tonic. How much a month? You know what, Nigel? I will find out for you. I think it, I think you said it was about fifty bucks a month, and you get at least fifty bucks worth of booze, and then they give you all the stuff that I showed you, like the two tonic waters. Or he said he just got a rum box. Um, so hopefully he'll bring that into the office and we can check it out. You know, I, I don't mind some rum. I, I'll drink some rum. I'm, I'm pretty open to drinking a lot of stuff, actually, as you can see in some of my videos. But I was thinking these juniper berries might kind of release a little um, little flavor to it, a little, little fruitiness to it. But, oh, got it. Got it, Shadow Seed. So I was thinking these, these, these little juniper berries would kind of rehydrate in there and uh, add a little uh, fruit to it. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, Josh, uh, in case you all didn't know, we are, we are meeting up in November – November 1st and 2nd in Vegas. So get ready for some Vegas vlog in action. That's pretty good. It's really refreshing. If it was like a damn hot day, I'd be feeling pretty good right now. I really want to take out this flamingo. Flamingo. 
I don't know if that's what flamingos make, what noise they make. Is that what the noise they make? Yeah, it's not like a chicken. Oh, it's not like a chicken. Fair enough. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? I appreciate it. All right. Get back to movie night. Josh in bed. Kelly, we are making a gin and tonic tonight with this lovely gin. I haven't done uh, a booze video. I was doing a weekly booze video, and uh, I kind of got away from that because I was doing more cooking, and I felt like I was becoming an alcoholic because I was drinking so much. <laughs> so uh, I figured we had a chance to do this, so we're going to do it. But I'm only going to be on for another five minutes or so. I want to go ahead and uh, I need to get back to that game. I watch my Trojans lose. But I just, just want to What are you doing out there? Hey, yeah. keep it down. I'm live. Hey, Tom. How you doing, brother? As you guys can see in the title, we are having a gin. We're trying Alchemist Gin. It's pretty tasty. It's uh, it's not my favorite gin, but I wouldn't turn it down. Pretty tasty. If y'all are drinking tonight, what are you guys drinking? Throw it out there. Oh, goodness. Or ask some questions. I don't know. I'm pretty liable a lot. So <laughs> there ain't a whole lot of questions I understand. Hello, housekeeping. <laughs> Mm. Thank you, Tom. I'm glad you were uh, <laughs> glad you were a part of it, man. That was great. It was good to see you in there. It's nice to have that support. We had a lot of viewers yesterday. I think we got to 78. Can't correct me if I'm wrong. 78, 79. I wrote it down. I put my notebook away though. But we had a lot of people in there yesterday. So goes to show that Jamie did a great job of promoting it. And we had a lot of great viewers on there. So I was very, very excited for uh, last week's or thoughts he just last night. It was a good time. It was exciting. Drinking Bud Light right on 76. Okay, cool. So, hey, that's a, that's an achievement right there, guys. Yeah, Mike, hook it up, dude. Uh, you need to get into the, the SoCal 79. That's right. That's what I thought. We were, we were up there. So I wrote it down. Uh, I'll, I'll look it up, and we'll talk about it next hot seat. This hot seat that's coming up on this this Thursday coming up is uh, Dan Wright from Wright's, uh, Wright, Wright Bar Rub Barbecue Company. Wright, Wright Barbecue Rub Company. Um, uh, so he doesn't have a YouTube channel. So it's going to be a little interesting to uh, interview someone like that. He doesn't have, uh, he doesn't have content to talk about. So we're going to have to kind of work our questions to more, you know, how this company got started or, you know, what inspired him for his rubs and sauces or whatever. So I think, uh, I think it'll be an interesting uh, chat next week and a little bit, a little bit different. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. I see just scored. Thank goodness. <laughs> All right. Jay way. All right. Um, I love the stuff. Charcoal chicken. <laughs> He's still talking about James' beer can chicken. All right, listen. I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I appreciate everybody stopping by, having a drink with me. Cheers. You all have a great weekend. If you go live this weekend, I'll jump on if I can. Oh, yeah. Deep Sea, hey, I play poker anytime I can. Oh, okay. Well, well, I'll, maybe I'll try to find that video, Dutch. Uh, I play poker anywhere in Vegas I can, so I'll, I'll meet you guys at uh, Caesar's Palace and and uh, buy some drinks for you guys. So it'll be freaking awesome. All right, fellas, y'all have a good weekend. And and man, <laughs> sorry, sorry, um, you guys, be good out there. Take care.